Hello everybody, it is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasure. In today's video, I have a jewelry jar that I'm gonna open up. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, <laughs> that's my happy jewelry jar dance. I actually went to Savers this morning. Actually, it was noonish, so I was kind of surprised. I was not really expecting to find a jar but the stars were aligned, darlings. And the, the lady that works the jewelry counter there was just taping this up. So I stood there like a little puppy dog waiting at the edge of the counter for her to finish and put the price tag on. And then as she was moving to put it in the case, I said, excuse me, ma'am, could I please see that jar? She's like, I just put the, yes, I know. I've been waiting. <laughs> I didn't say that part. Anyway, I spent, it was 20% off. So I spent 20 bucks on this jar and she actually was giving me some tips, some jewelry jar tips. So I took them, you know, she was letting me know, you know, oh, some things in there are going to be broken. She's like, it's not all like stuff that's perfect. And you might have loose earrings that don't have a maid in there. Like, she's like, if you, I, I get, yeah, I know, I know the ropes. I know the ropes, lady. I got it. Um, but I wasn't ugly. I wasn't mean about it. That made it sound like I was. But I wasn't. I was like, oh, yeah, okay. This is great. I just want the hunt. Let me at it. Uh, but she did say that the things that come in here are things that have... This is the good part about it <laughs> because she works the counter. Like every time I go there, she's like picking through the jewelry. Like really, I'm like, oh, is there going to be anything good in there? Because she goes through pardon, everything with a fine tooth comb, basically, you know, like, and some of the stuff in the jewelry counter is kind of overpriced, like the Brighton bracelet in there for 20 bucks. And so it made me a little like, oh, is there really going to be anything? But We've got to remind ourselves that not there's no one person that knows everything. So there's still a chance that there's good stuff in here. And she did say that when she gets too frustrated with tangles, she just throws them in a jar. So that's what I like to hear. <laughs> All right. Then she was like, oh, you know, things have been out too long and I've got to put up things of a new color. I'll take down the old color, you know, tags or whatever. So... I was interested to hear all of her little tips and tidbits because the uh, insider secrets <laughs> that we got to dive into with the with the jewelry lady at the savers counter. Uh, but I am live. That was a long intro to a short video. No, I'm kidding. I don't know how long it's going to take. But uh, hi, everybody. My name is Margaret. If you've never met me, uh, this is my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I like to do jewelry unboxings and I flip things on eBay and Etsy and places like that to help support my family. I'm a homeschooling mom. I don't know, the whole shebang. So. We're going to open this and see what we can find. And I am live. So if you ever want to catch me live and hang out with all the wonderful people in the chat and get to know them, then make sure you hit subscribe and the bell next to it. Uh, yeah. So all that. And I know it might seem like if you're watching this later and you're like, I don't know about this whole live chat thing. Like you really do get to know people in the chat and you really do start seeing the same names and like getting, you know, virtual friends, which is awesome. Okay, <laughs> let's see in the chat. Hi, designs and do-overs. Oh, you just finished a box yourself. Yay! Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, you you heard about me from Fat Bird Finds. Yay! And Fat Bird Finds is going to be in the speed dating video I'm compiling right now. I'm working on it. I finally got my computer in. Oh, I forgot to say Happy New Year, too. I am all over the place, but I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Hello, Sandy. First time catching you live. Yay. I love when the stars do that. Me, too. I was like, as soon as I walked in, like as the tape was going, I was like, yay. <laughs> so I just stood patiently waited. Yay. All right. Oh, you just found a 14K. Woohoo! Yay. Hello, hello, everybody. I'm so glad that you're here. All right, let's see. Making sure I'm not missing anything before we dive in. All right. Oh, thank you for sharing that. Yeah. If you do like coming live and like these, then go, you know, tell everybody, hey, Margaret's live, you guys. I forgot to post again. I have to strike while the iron's hot, you know, homeschooling mom here, single homeschooling mom. I can't ever plan stuff because. You just never know what the day holds. So I have to jump on when I have the chance. So this was my chance. All right, let me come and untape this. I'm cutting it open. I see feathers right away. And y'all know, I don't like feathers. Feathers kind of gross me out. Dirty feathers. 
dirty feathers they have named you. You are so like the dirty feathers with the mystic smile. Is it only because you're dirty they have named you for that dirty feather? Something in your smile. All right. No more dirty feather songs. Poor Nat King Cole's probably rolling in his grave. <laughs> Do you smile to tempt a buzzard? Dirty feathers. <laughs> I'll stop there. Maybe. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> yep, dirty feathers, sassy tassels, the whole shebang. <laughs> All right, let's start with that dirty feather so you can see it. So here it is. I mean, they don't look awful. I could see somebody who liked feathers liking this. It's got a cool, it's an earring with these little, like a medallion with these little howlite beads. And then the, the feathers I think are meant to look that way. I think somebody painted them purposefully to have like gold. Clearly not my style, but that's okay. <laughs> then these, however, are awesome. These earrings are like concho, concho, right? That's the word I'm looking for. So, <laughs> so I used to for the silver grouse, but you got from the UK. I ordered the UK. If y'all haven't seen that, I ordered a mystery box from, is it a mystery box? Yeah, from a UK seller. And I got a grouse foot in it, which is like a, it's a bird, right? It's like a bird foot. And I was, no, I'm not having it. <laughs> I got to go dig that one up. All right. So here are some really cool. These will sell. Uh, these are, they're clip-on. They're Southwest style. Oh, look, they're Premier. So those are Premier design earrings. They look silver, but I think they're just kind of like tarnished looking because I don't know that Premier, I thought I had everything ready. Where's my magnet? <laughs> I thought I had everything ready and then I didn't. Y'all know my magnet is ginormous. How can I lose it? Pardon. We're going to need it, I promise. Okay, I have another one over here. Here it is. Dunna, 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 dunna. Dunna. Yes, I'm wearing pants. <laughs> I thought about that too earlier. <laughs> like, I guess I could do it without pants, but just look what would have happened. All right. So these are magnetic, but Premier Design. So people like their Premier stuff. Clip-on earrings. Those are nice. Yes, those I can put with my to sell pile. Oh, hang on. Gracious, it's my sister. She's calling, but she'll have to wait. I'll talk to her later. Then I'm gonna start putting solo earrings off to the side and see if we find mates. Some of them are cool. Some of them are interesting okay solo earrings get to go over here she did the lady i should have got her name let's call her joan for now joan the lady <laughs> was telling me you know a lot of times they don't she won't have the mates in there but she said this one should have some mates at least oh look, there's a mate for that one let's go fish it out of over here oh okay i'm gonna come back to the chat hang on one second so there are these, I like the colors. It's missing some stones. So that, that will definitely go into a craft lot. And I've been pulling more stuff for craft lots. I think, don't quote me on this, but I think not tomorrow Sunday, but the next Sunday, I'm gonna try to host a live sale on my channel again. I'm gonna try to get that going. And I have a ton of lots that I'm gonna be selling because I'm cleaning it out. Oh, thank you for that super chat. Uh, Glamour's Closet. Well, it's Dennis Nichols, but I know it's Glamour's Closet. Thank you for that super sticker. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, Robin says, just got my package from the mail. I found out four hours. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry you got COVID. I'm glad you got your jewelry, though. Let's see. Okay, just jumped again. If you're what I do um, on Patreon, I do mystery box, like, like a subscription box, a subscription jewelry box. So if you're interested, you can go check it out. I've been setting aside. That's why I was making lots last night. I was going, oh gosh, more dirty feathers. We're going to, um, yeah. So anyway, I was going through a bunch of my jewelry yesterday 
figuring out like, do I want to put this in a mystery lot, like a subscription box or, oh, come on, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> okay. So then, oh, yay. Oh, you're going to do an unboxing. Send me two. Yeah. Send me your link when you do the unboxing because then I can put it in the playlist. If you do an unbox, um, I'm trying to untangle this earring. All right. So I'll show you. I'll get that out. I don't normally like these that have the uh, threads because they usually look pretty bad, but these actually look okay. So those they're like dream catchers, right? I'll have to pull that out and try not to tear it up, but those actually might sell. Those are kind of cool. Some, ooh, that would, I mean, these are like, <laughs> when they're fit, when they're shiny like this, I always think of like, fishing spoons and like you're trying to catch the fish right trying to catch that fish and if a lady's are in and then she's trying to catch that man right or a woman depending on what you're after okay <clears throat> they're shiny they're gonna get their attention right yeah all right I'm, i know i keep popping in the chat but it, it keeps going and i want to see what's going on okay dirty feathers they have named you this one is a serious dirty feather and it's got like why I mean, I've seen stuff with these on um, those kind of shells, but it seems very random right there. All right, that's gonna go over here with the other dirty feather. <laughs> All right, I'm putting some of these down here that don't have mates. Dang, with the feathers. That's like, no. Gracious goodness. <laughs> okay. Oh no, Sonia says Anita Fanita got a bird skull in her jewelry jar. I would, yeah, I would imagine that would gross you out. Oh, whoa. <laughs> what were they thinking? <laughs> Putting a bird skull. Well, you never can tell. All right, I'm going through lots of earrings, lots of solos coming down onto the table. Some are cool, though. I mean, there's some cool solos. And I do have, a, like, a little... I got, a, I got a bunch of these at the bins a while back, like a whole box of them. <clears throat> and so I have one going that's all just like solo earrings in case I, you know, find the mate someday or whatever. I'll try not to touch my nose. Um, oh, gracious. Oh, thank you, Curry. Thank you, thank you. I am trying to fix myself up every day. So I feel better. Again, more just kind of solo earrings. It should have been a warning. She did tell me she had another jar going with just, she's like, it's already this much full of just solo earrings. I'm like somebody will love it. But now I'm wondering if she just dumped it on the top of this one. <laughs> That's okay. Because I know people like solo earrings. <clears throat> Aha. Is this a mate? And that's a mate. Yay. We have a mate. So here we've got some hoops. Are they mates? Oh, gosh. Maybe they're not. Darn it. They look like it, but they're not. See, it looks like they are, but then when I flip it around, that's a different style. However, they're nice. I bet nobody would even notice. Somebody would probably just wear them and no one would even notice. Okay, here we go. That's slightly magnetic. That one is not. I'm going to set these over here, see if I find the mates again as a slayed. Well, this is one of those that probably would have been better done face down. I'm just going to have a lot of solo earrings. There's a pepper. Well, you never know. I'm going to just keep going. Solo earring. Solo earring. Let's see. I have not been back to the bins lately uh, because of COVID. Now that I've had COVID, I'm tempted. Uh, and, and my kids enjoy going, even though it's kind of like iffy to take them. But maybe like on a not busy day but still no i haven't been back plus i i don't know i don't know i just haven't all right so here's this little skull um my selling i haven't gotten back in the swing of like selling stuff that sounds bad that sounds wrong not selling stuff but like listing and photographing so i'm worried about going there and bringing home a bunch of more stuff right so that's kind of where i'm at i've got so much stuff this is a really cute it's a clip on but it's it's darling. It's like a blingy skull girl. <laughs> I'm not ready. Yeah, I'm not ready for the binge yet. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah, I used to wear a lot of, and I, I have a friend that wears mismatched earrings all the time. Oh, thanks. Barbara says, hit that light. Oh, yeah. The blue, these are 
my latest red aspen nails. If you like them, I, I started selling red aspen. They're, they're, my link's down below. That's my sales pitch. I have a Facebook group for it too, so I can post stuff over there. This one I like. I wish I hope the mate's there because I could really, I could really like, I could really like to wear those. I could really like to learn to speak correctly too. Ah, Karen says I make a lot of uh, pendants in key rings and bookmarks out of solo earrings. Sweet. Okay, we may need to bring it back, right? Yeah, <laughs> because like more solos. I'm beginning to think she just dumped all those solos in the top of this jar. <laughs> but I don't mind. I don't mind. I mean, this is just some more. Again, there's just all of these solo earrings right at the top. That's fine. I'm going in. I'm going after them. I'm going to pull them all out. Some more. That's got a pretty. Oh, look at that glass bead in there. That's really, really pretty. Ooh. Look at that. I just like the colors. Look at it. It's like dichroic glass or something. Possibly. Ah, get in the front of the camera, you. It's gorgeous. That would be really, that would be a shame for me to wear on my ears because then I couldn't look at it. I would want it on a pendant that I could like pick it up and look at it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a problem with some of these earrings. You can't look at them because they're on your own ears. I'm looking to see, I have a cross here. I was looking to see if I saw any maker's marks. I don't though. Nope, I don't. We're going to find something. We're going to get past all these earrings and there'll be <laughs> something else here. Oh, my kids are out back. Aha, we've got a ring. This is a ring of Belle. Yes. Oh, let's see. Oh, you binge watched them. Oh, yeah, my other, one of my other channels, one of my mate Margaret. And I'm going to probably go live on this after this because I have a boxy charm I need to unbox. So it's going to be a live video afternoon for me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, you just tested negative. Oh, good. That's so good. Um, yeah, there, there, I need to find out because there is a lady in my group that has another group or we have a section in the group. I don't know. Finding your mate, finding the earring mate. Yeah. Another bell earring. That'll probably just go into a lot. Here's a big giant onk with a big purple cabochon in the middle. <laughs> what do you make of that? Somebody would love it, right? Somebody would definitely, I mean, it looks like it would be either a goth kid's dream or what is it? It's like resin or something. It's not metal. Oh, it's interesting though. Yeah, somebody will definitely love that. Hello, everybody. Hey, go over there and hit that thumbs up button. Yeah. All right. Got a little hair clippy. That's going to go. And what is this? What have we got? Oh, this is a, oops. It's an R keychain. That's probably just going to go straight to a lot. Oh, a Prince costume. Yes, true, true. All right. This is a sweet earring. Hopefully the mate for this one shows up. It's got some little turquoise chips and an arrow shooting through a heart. That's awesome. Okay, come on. Um, we've got a lot of... See, the thing is, with the lady there, she knows some of her stuff. So I have to keep, you know, hopefully we'll find something. Faith. Faith. And it's on a nice silver colored chain. Here comes the magnet. Let's see what we got. Mwah. Wait, wait, wait. Was it magnetic at the end? That's the spring ring. Mm. I don't think it's silver, silver, though. Uh, thank you. Yes, go hit the thumbs up. Wait. Oh, gracious. I made sure, I thought, that I had all my stuff ready. Here it is. Got my loop. Ah, yeah. Solos will make a good bag, a bag charms. This is true. Maybe I could, like, do a whole separate, when I do my sale, just throw all the solo earrings into one. And say, okay, here we go. Solo earring bag. Okay. okay, so that one I'm just gonna put into a lot, a, you know, my craft lots. And we've got this pendant that wants a cameo. It wants something in it. And is it silver? There's a mark in there, so let's see. I wonder if the cameo has popped out of it. It does say 925 China, so I'll have to test that. 
Worst case scenario, it could go into my scrap, my silver scrap, if it ends up being silver. But I've got a little pile going of things I need to test. So let's see. Do I test single earrings for silver? If if it's marked or if I think it leans that way, then I then I will. Um, yeah. I have sold like a separate sterling solo earring lot before. I just saw this hoop. I need to look at it closer like this one. Because I know James Avery makes earrings or has made earrings similar to this. Just really simple loops. Uh, 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 I don't see anything. I guess I should have checked it with my magnet first. Eh, I'll look at it closer. Okay. Let's see. Melissa says, I use the vintage ones as adornments in my vintage crochet. How cool. What strength is my loop? This is not my normal one, but this one is a 30 by 21. I have another one that is stronger, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Don't me do it on purpose so I have more jars to buy. True. Okay, then... We've got this, it looks like maybe it was Once Upon a Time in Alex and Annie or that style. It's got a little star, that's sweet. Uh, will I sell it? I don't know. That'll go in my maybe pile or maybe a craft lot. Eh, we'll see. Got, I keep pulling out more solo earrings. This one looks like porcelain. Yeah, looks like someone painted this one. As you can see, let's see. It looks like, I can't tell what kind of plant it's supposed to be, but it definitely looks porcelain and somebody's put some luster wear over. Yeah. My grandmother was a porcelain artist. If you didn't know that, now you know. She was amazing. She was super duper good. And yeah, so, that, <laughs> so that, that's my story. The end. Uh, gosh, still working on solos. We got to cufflink here all right all right oh wait the cufflink might have a mate it does all right sweet cufflinks were my gateway into jewelry some of you may not know this already because it's often overlooked at thrift stores and garage sales and stuff and so my two biggest jewelry sales ever have been cufflinks and cufflink sets because yeah like i say they're often overlooked and so my first big sale was a pair of uh, I think they were 18 karat, 14 or 18 karat gold cufflinks and a tie tack that had a jade like cabochon on them. And so I sold them for 400 bucks. And then I had found another pair of cufflinks at a thrift store for a dollar that ended up being, they were British Hallmark, super heavy, really nice. And I ended up taking them to the gold, the gold guy. And I got, I think I got four, about 400 bucks for those too. They were really nice. So, um, oh, I'll pull over a piece. I got one over there. Of my mom, my grandmother's pieces. It's awesome. Yeah, these are not marked, but they're a nice set. They seem to be in good shape. Yes, they do. Here, I'll grab it. It's just right here. It's just right here. I can show you. Here's one piece. I have, I have multitudinous pieces, but this is one that she did. So, like a little ting. Yeah, I keep that over here. Okay, now it's going to be over here until I put it away. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, there's more stuff over there, but we'll, we'll move on. Anyway, Lily of the Valley. Oh, cool. Okay, thank you. You know what? The thing is, th there was a big resurgence in it. Uh, cut where Men wearing cufflinks. One, um, when the, the show Mad Men was going on, it was really big. And so there was a resurgence in people wearing cufflinks. And also, like when all the swing stuff was going, like swing dance and things, um, yeah. So you never know. And then people want them. Some men are super hard to buy for, and you know, just like random. And then there are people that that collect them. Yeah. So I've done some different videos about cufflinks, and I've had um, there's a, a lady named Lynn. Her channel is called The Tie Chest. And then, so I've had Lynn on to talk to me. And then there's a guy called The Cufflink King. He's on Instagram too. And I did a, um, I had him come on too to talk more about cufflinks. So pretty cool. 
Pretty cool. I like these earrings. I really hope that the mate is here. I'm beginning to think this was the cufflink. I mean, the ear solo earring one she was talking about. All right, here we go. Help, I need somebody. I think this is a safety chain for a, it's, look, let's look in the inside. It is threaded. I don't think these are Pandora though. What do you think? It looks like a safety chain for some kind. Are they Pandora? Does Pandora make these? That just doesn't look like, oops, the right kind of quality. But this looks like, um, like a safety chain for a, well, maybe it's not threaded in there. Maybe it's just scuffed up looking. Okay, what is this? Now I need your help. Okay. No, that one is threaded. See, I shouldn't, shouldn't second guess myself. That one, one side is threaded. Y'all, I need help with this. What do you think that is? Is it what I think it is? Oh, yay. It looks like a safety chain for a Pandora bracelet. <laughs> but I don't even know if that's a thing because it's only threaded inside one, but it's not threaded in the other. So would that make sense? I don't even know. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Donna says there's a repurposed group. They take cufflinks uh, turned into charms for bracelets. They cut off the link and use the face. Interesting. No, we still have a lot. We still have that much to go. <laughs> we have a lot. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely not Pandora, but okay. So that'll go into a craft lot. Craft lot bracelets. All right. Uh, again, more solo earrings. Boy, I think she was pulling my leg about it being a different, <laughs> but it's okay. All right, here's a little earring. That looks promising. It's got a little bow and a bright blue. This is the top of it though. Oh, is it a whale? Is it, I think it's a whale. Is it a whale? No, it's a bow. Oh gracious. I'm so confused. Why is the top of it weird then? That's the top, right? <laughs> right there is the top. And then you, oh, it's a heart. Oh gosh. <laughs> are my eyes that bad? I guess they are. It says couture on it. What do we say? Do we believe it? Maybe these are juicy, juicy couture <laughs> earrings. <laughs> Earring. All right. I guess my eyes are worse than I thought. Oh well. Let's see. Hang on. Are you asking me? What are you adjusting with your videos? Is it your phone or something? Like, what am I recording with right now? This is my new computer that I finally got back. This is my MacBook Pro. I needed it because my MacBook Air is not powerful enough for editing videos. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here we've got, I think this is for a wine bottle. What do you think? It's awfully small for a bracelet. I mean, I could wear it, I suppose. What are your thoughts? You think it's for a wine bottle? Ah. <laughs> okay. Looking, looking, looking. Okay. So yeah, probably gonna go into a craft lot. Here comes a watch. Let's see if we can make out the face. Peugeot. This is a car company, right? <laughs> so we've got a Peugeot watch, which I don't know if that will sell. So I'll have to look that up. Then another watch. Here we go. This one. That piece just fell off. Okay. That's Adidas, right? Flip her over. Well, it looks like it's supposed to be Adidas. If it were really Adidas, I have a feeling the back would say Adidas because they are into the brand. So I'm guessing that's a knockoff. So, and that rubbery stuff was kind of deteriorating. This one, missing some stones. I know we're going to pull something good out of this. I know it. I feel it in my bones. Yep. So this is a really long necklace. That's. I mean, do y'all sell stuff like this? I want to know. <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. It's a really long 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably going to put it into a lot. I mean, I think it would sell. But I'm just thinking, like, you have to describe it. And you have to think. I think my problem is that sometimes I think about, I'm not going to wear this. I can't imagine thinking, I need to find something like this. Like, I've got this outfit, and it's just kind of like blah. And I need a necklace that's just not going to draw attention or anything, but something. Just a little something to zhuzh it up. <laughs> I don't know. If you love this, tell me why. I do want to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I don't, um, again, everybody likes different stuff, and I know this. But I'm just curious because, <laughs> yeah, just curious. Um, and I don't like to, it's just true. I don't like taking pictures of long now. I do have Henrietta now. However, she hasn't put herself to work yet. I mean, Henrietta needs to like start earning her keep girl. You know, we've got some watch links. That'll go to a lot. Um, uh, Okay, I'm going to have to match up some of these earrings down here. Then this is, this one is intriguing. Hang on, we've got, so here's what we've got. It's a choker style necklace with leather. And what is supposed to probably be one of those like evil eye deals, but it's around. It's just the eyeball. And then the, here's the mag, is it a, how do you open this? Oh, it's a magnet. Okay. Can, here we go. This could be very embarrassing when it doesn't fit on your neck. We'll just hold it here and pretend like it does. So, there, like so. Mm. Yeah, okay. Mary Thomas, is that my Mary Thomas? I feel like, you know one of my best friends is named Mary Thomas. But okay. <laughs> I feel like if it was my Mary Thomas, you wouldn't say that. <laughs> okay. Um, looking, looking, looking. Oh, yeah, it's from Savers. Um, all right. Then we've got this, which probably was a, it is a stretch bracelet, but it's coming apart. So that will go to a craft lot. I mean, it's got nice pieces. There's like cat's eye stones in there. Ooh. Ooh, the mate one is in this one. Look at these. Wow. She's a material girl living in a material world. These bring it back, y'all. Hang on. Oh, my gosh. Let's get physical. Physical. I want to get physical. What was your first album? Like, if you know what an album is. What was your first record album that you owned? <laughs> My first one was, was Joan Jett and the Black Hearts. I love rock and roll. But then right around that same time, I got the Let's Get Physical album. You know, the Olivia Newton-John one. And <clears throat> let's see. If, I'm going to sing it. You can name that tune. Ready? And the artists, you can easily name the two, but the artists that are singing, say, say, say what you want, but don't go away and stay forever. And you, 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 boo, boo, boo. Okay, we've got a bookmark. That'll go to a lot. <laughs> Waiting for you, baby. <laughs> Standing here, baptizing all my fears. I'm sure I'm singing it wrong and I can't hit the right notes. <laughs> but if you know, oh, these are your, okay, you got, let's see. Brenda's, oh, wait, let me go back up. Some of y'all are in. Okay, y'all got James Taylor, Adele. Oh, wait, wow, y'all came in with it. Partridge Family, Sean Cassidy. Yes, Michael Jackson Thriller. Yeah, Invoke. Yes, Adele, James Taylor. Yes. Okay, what, what else we got? Any musical. Oh, bring it. I want to play Miss Hannigan so bad. I love her. <laughs> Minute work. Bay City Rollers. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, it jumped. It jumped. <laughs> ah, thanks. <laughs> Leaf Garrett, Pink Floyd. 
Carol King. Okay. First album, David Essex. Yeah. Paul McCartney, Michael Jackson. Say, say, say. Yes. <laughs> it's such a good song. They really sounded good together. Um, okay. Carol King. Joan Jett. Yes. Such a good song. Such. Oh, yeah. Tapestry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, Guns and Roses. <laughs> All right, this is a Woma G. Uh, okay, that's going to go to a lot. Let's move through this. I see some. We have got a. Somebody has painted this one as well. Oh, gracious. It's my sister again. Hang on. I'm decline. Decline. Let me text her. Say, I'm live, girl. If you got something to say, say it in the chat. <laughs> I'm live. Are you okay? There we go. My dad is over at her place and my mom is here. So the parents just went whoop, two different places. All right, Louisiana Magnolia. That's painted, got some bumblebees on it. She may not have her phone with her though. Here's another keychain. This one is the socks. All right, another craft lot piece. Oh, I see a ring. Hopefully it's a good one. Hang on. I'm coming, ring. Craft lot. I saw this earring a second ago. We'll have to match up earrings in a minute. Let's see. We got a ring. Where did it go? I know what. I saw you. Where'd you go? Well, well, we'll have to find it. Cassette. Like, oh, what was my first cassette? Oh, gracious. Girl, I think you're, yeah, your hat's falling apart, woman. Okay. So there's this. That's, that's going over there. Um, oh, gracious. Okay. Then, ooh, this is fun. It's kind of gluey over here. So we're going to find something in here. I found, I mean, I got, I got like two things, three things maybe in my to sell pile. I should have known. I should have known. Old Joan at the, uh, at the thrift store and she knows what she's doing all right that one is kind of falling apart so i'm gonna try to glue it back on uh, somebody will love it in a craft lot somebody will find some some fun something fun to do with it some more solo earrings a button aha aha here we go this is a cool butterfly now to find out if that black at the bottom is something that can be removed or is it on there? Because I might be able to just like clean it up. Uh, I can't tell. I bet it's a something I can clean up. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna put that to the side and see if that's, because if it's just like a Sharpie mark, then you can get a dry erase. Do I have a dry erase handy? I'll show you. I don't think I do. Usually, if you don't mind me digging over here for a second, <laughs> I usually have a dry erase handy in my workroom because if you see dry erase on ceramics or stuff, if you rub it, I mean, Sharpie, if you rub over Sharpie on slick surfaces with a dry erase and then wipe it off, it'll wipe the Sharpie off. I'll, I'll set it aside. I might have a Sharpie over there, but I'll wait. I've already gotten up once in this. I can wait. Okay, then we've got some eyeglass, an eyeglasses chain. Let's see, uh, I feel like I'm a mess, y'all. Hopefully, you're, hopefully we're doing all right over there. Hopefully, it's coming through. Okay, now what is happening here? I feel like this is more complicated than it needs to be. Oh, it's a crazy long. Bolo, sort of. It's a necklace, but it also has like a bolo chain. Oh, it's really long. So why? I mean, why have this portion if you can, you know, bolo it down and up? I mean, what's the story with this? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I clearly it's not my style, or is it? I feel like it's too, it's like going right down the center where it, let's see. Ugh. 
Okay, we'll leave it for now. We'll just leave it. We'll see how we feel about it in a minute. We got another cuff link. I think I see the mate in there. <laughs> yep. So this is somebody's definite KFK. Someone's um, initials. Oh, there is a mark. Let's see what brand this is. This is an Anson down in the valley, the valley. So <laughs> I lost my poor necklace. I took that song in a different direction when somebody sneezed. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking of something else now. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Then we've got another super duper long curly necklace these ones sound really good though i like when they sound good there we go <laughs> um oh, it's got a nice clasp too so there's that thoughts these are pretty cool i like these a lot so i'm gonna hang on to those <laughs> <laughs> you get lost down in the valley. It's totally no meatballs in the valley, right? That's where I went with that song. <laughs> I went with I went to the meatball place with the song. Yep. <laughs> Not on top of old Smokey. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. It rolled off of the table and onto the floor. And then my poor meatball, it rolled out the door. Okay, I'll leave it there. Uh, <laughs> so here we've got this really cool flower. And again, we've got some issues with the finish being chipped off. So these, uh, it's a big bummer because that would be an awesome seller. What do you think? What would you do? Somebody could totally take this and maybe repaint it. What do you think? They could kind of pull it, pull it apart, repaint it. I think somebody could do a nice job and then it would be amazing. It is metal. I mean, so that's cool. Somebody will enjoy it. I haven't had enough here. I mean, I think I'll make my money back. This is interesting. Who are you? So we've got a cuff with some cut out kind of stars on the side, but then it's got this like mis mystery woman. She's like brooding. Perhaps she's on top of a mountain looking down onto some very pointy trees. Is she from something? Do you recognize her? She's not from Twilight. I know that. Oh, yeah. Go over there and hit the uh, the thumbs up. Let's get to 100. All right. Uh, hmm. I'm going to put this in my possible to sell pile. This... <laughs> I'm going to put this in a craft lot. Mystery girl can go and somebody can maybe, I mean, somebody took the time to make this. This, this is one of those thinkers. <laughs> like somebody had to design it and think, you know what? I think we could really sell these. I think this would go, I mean, somebody had to dream it up. Then somebody else had to approve it. And, and you know, like quality control. Like, yeah, I, I can see it. Maybe somebody who doesn't know what kind of jewelry women wear. I don't know. I like weird too, but we got some beads here. That's awesome. Those look like some kind of gemstone beads. Maybe nail polish. Yeah. Oh, to repaint it. Mm hmm. Now we know why it was in a bag, Margaret. So, yeah, that's got some nice. See some amethyst beads. Oh, yeah. Really nice. This will be good. I have a bag of, of beads and things for my sister over there. So possibly, ooh, I would have loved to see that. Princess Casserole pulled some crazy steampunk necklace out of a jar. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna put those aside for my sister. I know I saw some rings in here. Aha, here we go. There's no way Joan would be miss gold. That one's missing some stones. That little green stone looks legit. You don't think she would miss gold. I mean, she's sitting over there really going through stuff. Let's see what the magnet. That's why I'm like, there's no way I'm going to find gold in there. She's like on it. Okay. Not magnetic. Let's look closer. Y'all. 
I'm looking. Hang on. Uh, thanks, man. I like to think so. I don't see any marks. Hmm. Okay. I don't think it's gold. Okay. Here's why. Let me find it so I can show you. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't see any marks. It's not magnetic. But I'm looking for areas where the gold will have been rubbed away. I don't know. I'm going to have to set it aside and look at it closer. I don't see any marks, so it's not likely. But I'm going to hang on to it and see. <laughs> All right. Then, hang on. I think there's a cat at the door. <laughs> it looks like Twilight, but it's not. Trust me, I would know. I. That's one of my guilty pleasures. I had to explain guilty pleasures to one of my kids today because I was watching America's Next Top Model. <laughs> and I was like, it's one of my guilty pleasures. What's that? What's a guilty pleasure? You're almost embarrassed to admit that you like it, but you just can't help yourself. Yeah. All right. So this necklace has a penny. I'm guessing it was from somebody's birth year. And there we have it. Okay. So... All right, here we go. More earrings. Oh, gracious. Digging. We've got a another watch. That will go to a lot. I know I saw another ring in here. <laughs> no, yep, it's not, it's not Bella. Okay, I think I saw that earring over here. All right, every scoot over. I'm going in deeper. We're going deeper. You know, sometimes the good stuff's at the bottom. It's true. Ah, oh, I need another thing to dump it into. I'm gonna dump it. Yeah, Heather, I'm surprised that if Jen missed something good too. Again, I'm not sure that's her name, but I just I kept call I kept calling her the, the thrift store lady. We've got a an Boy Scout slide. I mean, Boy Scout stuff is expensive, so I I'm gonna look this one up. Because truly, like if you have, when your kids go from like tiger to wolf to bear or whatever the order is, like they have to get all new accoutrement and it's so expensive when you go get it at the scout shop. So whenever I would find stuff at thrift stores or garage sales, whew, dang, it's expensive. Then there's this look super cool, like rep, repoussé, repoussé, rep, repoussé, I'm saying it wrong. Uh, puffy heart. That's pretty awesome. I like that. It's not magnetic, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's silver either. But it's cool. Oh, yeah, vintage Boy Scout and Girl Scout stuff. It's definitely worth looking into. Okay, so I'm going to keep that. Ooh, this is fun. So this is definitely you know it's a cool looking butterfly it's all like rusty metal uh distressed right so this is look at me shivering like cool distressed yeah that'll sell that's awesome <laughs> and then we've got one of these like bubble style necklaces all pink yeah i mean some people like those too all right, it's easier for me to get at it now. I poured it in a little tub. Did I say something else? Did I not say dragonfly? What did I say? What did I say? Oh my gosh. Did you ever have those moments where like, I feel like the right word came out of my mouth, but it's entirely likely I said something else. Uh, this, I think the chain is supposed to still be on there. I'll put this into a lot. I feel like I have a lot going in a craft lot. That's okay. This was fun. I was excited to get it. And I was excited. Oh, I said butterfly. There we go. Yeah, dragonfly. Thank you. <laughs> These things happen, right? My mind is in a million different places. I'm just saying, I was excited to get a jar. I should know better because Miss Joan knows what she's doing over there. And this one's pretty cool because we've got this long gold chain. Then it's got these diamond sort of shaped plastic 
beads. And then we've got a sassy tassel with a feather. It's a little sassy tassel. I don't know. Is, does it require the sassy tassel song if it only has three, four, ta four tassels, I think. Sassy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. This is my sassy, sassy tassel song. Woo! All right, sassy tassel, get over there. We're going to sell you. Oh, another scout slide. There we go. I was excited to just to have it and come on and just to say, I found one. It's been so long. I am going to be going to Houston. And I find when I used to live in Houston, the, the Goodwills there still sold jewelry and jewelry jars, not just like whatever. They don't here. They don't. So I'm going to see if I can find any while I'm there. All right. There's this. It was on something, but it's not anymore. So that will be, yeah. Uh, oh, I think the mate for this earring's there, which is great. I like it. Oh, come on. This is a lot of solo earrings. I'm gonna have quite a bit. Does this go together? You're kidding me. That's awful. <laughs> oh, gracious. You're coming off, I'm telling you that right now. Look, so here's this earring. That can't be right. There's like this random like gathering of beads at the back. But yeah, it's connected on there. That's just, it looks like this earring is going to the bathroom and it's hiding it behind its back. Why does it have to be the bathroom, Margaret? No, that can't be right. This is just a freeloader. Because look, there's the mate. That one's not hiding anything. All right, so this mess back there is coming off. Because the earrings are cute. All right. How did you get hooked on there? Why? All right. We'll deal with you later. You're in for it. All right. Then. All right. Oh, okay. Looking, looking. Yay. Sassy tassels. Uh, probably. Okay. Then another bubbly necklace. What do y'all call those? This, oh, that's an earring. Ooh, those are fun. Okay, now we're talking. Look at these geometric earrings. Look, look, that looks like a really cool earring. I mean, I'm not gonna wear them, but somebody will like those a lot. So I will sell those for sure. They don't, I mean, yeah, minimalist, awesome, cool. Geometric. Then there's this sea star pendant. That'll go to a lot. Independent. All the single ladies, right? All the single ladies. Everybody's probably seen the single ladies with Justin Timberlake now, by now, right? The one that he did on uh, SNL, because that was so fun. It's been a long time ago. I'm probably aging myself out here. Uh, here we go. I'm figuring it out. There we go. Okay, that's why. Again, another super long one with a whole, it's like a mess of trout. I got like a mess of trout on my line. It's just, you know, hanging out. Got some trout on the line. Once I get a mess of them, I'll bring them home and fry them up for dinner. There we go. Um, <laughs> I put that in a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there's that ring I saw before. Yay! All right, look at that one. Okay, starfish, not sea star. Okay, I don't know the difference. I'm just trying to like, I don't want to insult the starfish or sea star. Call it the wrong thing. I don't know. I'm just gonna call it something else. I don't know. Something that lives in the ocean and it is, <laughs> it has five legs. I'm looking because I think there's a stone missing here. Yep. There is a little stone missing in that one right there. Is it silver though? Is it silver? No, it is not. So I can see the finish wearing off on that. So that will be, <laughs> when you read a random comment and you don't know the backstory, um, anyway, <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, okay, so I've got quite a bit going to a lot here. We've got a cute little lapel pin. That's adorable, like a little quilted looking bow. That's cute. Probably gonna just, I'm keeping in mind that I'm excited that I found a jar. 
that I could come share with you. People like bows. Okay, I'm going to try to sell this one, okay? Because there are people that collect bow and ribbon-looking brooches. There are. Um, more solo earrings. That one's cool. But I don't see. Oh, yeah, I do see the mate. Ooh, all right. Now we're talking. Ready, set, go. What do we think? Are they me? They're kind of me. They're not me. Mm. Mm, maybe I'm turning the wrong one there. What do you think? Mm. I like them. I think they'll sell. Stop swinging. They seem to have all their bits. Yay. Okay. <laughs> you just never know. I guess I need to educate myself uh, between the, the difference between a sea star and a starfish. Is there a difference or am I being chastised too? <laughs> okay. Oh, they're both appropriate. You're a marine biologist. Whoo. Okay. <laughs> Starfish, sea star. Okay. That's fine. I just, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, you know, especially the, is it, it's not a mollusk. What is it? Bryce Aggies, babe. What is it? It's an invertebrate. Now we're going to have a biology lesson because I need to know what its classification is. <laughs> so, <laughs> endo, endo, echinoderms? Echinoderms. Echinoderms. Okay. I need to know what another echinoderm is then um, because I need to be able to file it away in my brain with something else. So, we've got some more of this. <laughs> we're getting a biology lesson. You're going to get it whether you like it or not. We're going to learn something today, even if it's not jewelry related. These would make great chimes. Maybe. <laughs> They're all, yeah. Um, we just finished The Curious World of Calpurnia Tate, which is a really good book. It's the second in the series. Uh, the, what's the first one? Um, the Evolution of Calpurnia Tate. So good. Um, anyway. Yeah, we just finished. It's set at the turn of the century, and it, so they're they're Texans. And her granddaddy, you know, is a scientist, and she learns a lot. It's really cool, and my kids love it. Uh, so yeah, lots of these bits of maybe was a belt, maybe was a necklace, but it's got lots of cool pieces that you can bang together. Yeah. Is a jellyfish another one? I've got to go Google echinoderms now, and hopefully I'm saying that right. You you dropped it on us, Rice Aggies, babe, and then you left us, right? We're not done being educated. you got to come back and drop some more knowledge on us. Then we've got a, it's a broken necklace, but it's cool. I like that style. It is magnetic. Okay, I'm keeping in mind that, that this was a fun experience. And I've got a lot of solo earrings. <laughs> All right, jump down. Uh, okay, sea cucumber, sea urchins. That makes sense. Classification. All right, asteroidea, asteroidea, phylum endo echinodermata, sea cucumbers and sea urchins. Okay, cool. Okay, asteroidea, Ast asteroid, what? <laughs> asteroid. Asteroidea. Is it because the sea urchin looks like an asteroid or are they just messing with us? I want to know why. I just saw the mate for this one and it's cute. I got to find the other one now. Um, I got to know. I have a book of word and phrase origins. I love it. It's like a big giant book. I've already told you this story, probably, but guess what? I'm going to tell it again. My brother and I had gone to Barnes and Noble to like look at books and just chills before I had kids. And I was sitting just in the aisle, like devouring this, this book. And my brother was for, for me to out, out bookstore. My brother is, say, is saying something. And finally my, uh, my brother was like, I'm just going to buy you that book so we can get out of here. Finally <laughs> again, my brother, me out bookstoring my brother is incredible. 
This one, I thought it was broken. Hang on. Maybe it's not. I thought I saw that it was missing something. Hmm, okay, those are cute. There we go. Echino Dermata means spiny skin. Okay. What does the asteroid what do we do mean? <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I'm getting educated here. Brittle stars are also in the same phylum. Okay. <laughs> Come for the jewelry. Stay for the science education. All right. I'm looking through what's left at the bottom here. See if there's anything. Oh, these are fun. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, I think I'll make my money back for sure. Definitely. I mean, I've had enough to make my $20 back. Hang on. I'm trying to detangle this and learn <laughs> at the same time. You miss oh, Borders and Barnes and Noble. Me too. My kids even said that the other day. Mom, I just miss going because we would go get the, something at Starbucks, like a they would get hot chocolate or and we would just go and like browse around and look at books and my kids. Oh, I love them. Anyway, <laughs> so look at these. These are oh, it's missing stones. Look at that one right there. It's missing the stones. Darn it. <sighs> okay, fine. I am looking in here to see if there's anything else that I can show you. It's all so far just solo earrings. Yeah. Hang on. There's a necklace here I'm trying to grab. I like this chain. It's kind of like a square. What do you call that one? It's like a box chain. It's very squarey. Yeah. <laughs> Good question. That would be the definitive answer there. If we can find out if Patrick Starr calls himself a sea star or a starfish. I need to go do this research now. Um, so we'll know because that will answer the question finally. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Mwah. Mwah, mwah. Okay. So favorites. I've got this much stuff that's sellable. I definitely think I can make my money back. I mean, this will probably, I'll probably list this for about $15 at least. So, eh, not bad. I mean, I didn't pull any wowses out of it, but I've got a lot of solos to put in my fun solo box. The cufflinks, I'll probably put up, you know, 15, 17 bucks, like so. That's not going to be a, I'm not going to lose money on it. And I got to come hang out with you, which is awesome. That's been fun. Oh my gosh, Carol, thank you so much for that super sticker. I really appreciate it. His name is Patrick Starfish. Okay. Ast okay, asteroid. Yeah, aster means star. Okay, okay, cool. That makes sense. That makes sense. Because then I was thinking asteroid. I took the whole, I wasn't chunking it like I ought to, like a good lull. <laughs> Latin science declassificated. Well, I don't know. I'm saying, I don't even know. All right, you guys. I uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this one. I definitely did. I kind of wish I had it face down because there were so many solo earrings. This is a fun one. This will be a fun one to turn into a charm, like on a charm bracelet. I like that one a lot. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you're interested, I'm going to be going live and just a little while over on my My Mate Margaret channel to open my boxy charm that I haven't gotten to open yet. Yeah. Um, if you are interested, definitely uh, send, oops, I clicked away. If you saw something that you wanted, send me an email uh, over on texasgaltreasures at gmail.com because then I can sell it to you directly. If you're waiting for me to list it, it'll take, it'll be a while. It'll be a while. Uh, anyway, I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your weekend. Bye everybody.